Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you all guys are doing definitely good. And I, Yashoda, welcome to all of you in my YouTube channel, English with the Hathi Madam. Friends, in this video, I am going to tell you about 4 easy steps to learn speak English. And by following these steps, you will be definitely be a good speaker like native speakers. And you have to just do a thing that you have to practice a lot as much as you can in order to be a perfect fluent speaker okay friends so without wasting our time let's get start the video four steps of speaking English the first one is reading the second one is writing the third one is listening and the last one is speaking just as hands mouth ears eyes are part of our body and these four steps are part of English speaking fluently and by following each and every steps you can be able to speak fluent English like a native speaker okay friends because English is not our mother tongue so we have to practice a lot because without practice we can't do anything in our life in every field so let's start from the reading reading is the very important part of this process the journey of English speaking will be nothing without this process because by reading by reading we can know about the sentence structure and grammar okay friends and by reading a lot it subconsciously gone into a subconscious mind and we have a habit of speaking this. In reading process, you have to read aloud. Don't read it in your mouth. Just come out through your mouth. Mouth. You have to speak aloud. Because by reading aloud, the grammar and the sentence structure that we read, it gone into our subconscious mind and it our subconscious mind get into it and after a while these sentence and structure will come out from through our mouth okay friends and you can start reading books newspapers as well as novels and story books you can start from which you which one you like more you don't need to read any kind of boring book you need the book in which you are interested. Okay, friends? Because reading English and speaking English, learning speaking English is a process that if we make it in interesting manner, manner then it will be more helpful for us. It's not a boring process. Don't make it a boring process. So, reading book always according to your interest. Don't waste your time by reading any kind of this book which you don't like okay friends and the second one second process is writing by reading books we practice by reading books we learn a lot about grammar and sentence structure and many kinds of vocabulary and by writing we can practice our this knowledge and this process will helpful in enhancing a enhancing our vocabulary grammar and sentence structure because when we write when we in writing process then everything in our mind in from your subconscious mind and we write it in on a paper then and after we see this paper we can feel how much better we can be from from one week before and now you see a great difference between in between you so friends write something and i want to suggest you a thing that you how you can start writing you take a just simple step simple sentence you have to take any simple step like i drink water it means in hindi main pani peeta hu then you have to translate it in negative sentence and interrogative sentence. 
and it's a simple simple indefinite tense and after it you can change it into past indefinite tense future indefinite tense and uh, after this you can change it into future all kinds of future sentence all kind of present sentence and all kind of uh, past sentence like present indefinite present continuous and present perfect and present perfect continues like this past indefinite past perfect and past perfect continues and last one is future future indefinite future continues future perfect and future perfect continues okay friends by using this process by using this technique you will be able to command you will be able to command on all kinds of sentences and when you able to learn about the grammar and uh, sentence structure you will be able to write and read and obviously you can speak okay friends so writing is a very important part of our english learning journey and the next one is listening listening is also a very important part of our journey of english speaking because by listening we can understand the words and we can know that how and that how you have to use these sentences on which place on which condition you have to use which kind of sentence which kind of sentence structure which kind of grammar rules so friends listening is a very simple it's a very easiest process of this journey because we listen we have to do only listening okay friends and by listening our subconscious mind it's more practice and friends you can start to watching like cartoons movies tv shows and uh, web series news podcast motivational videos but i prefer you if you are beginner you can start from the cartoons because the grammar and sentence structure that used in the cartoons is very simple and it's very in understanding and slowly slowly we can be able to understand the full sentences so listening is a most important part of this journey and friends i want to tell you that in english speaking is a natural process how i tell you when a child is born he will never able to speak um, one or two years he only observe the things he only listen he only listen he can't he don't have the knowledge of grammar he don't have the knowledge of vocabulary he only starts to listen and observing things and when he starts to speak then he or definitely speak in english in this in that language okay friends so listening is a very important part of this process and the last one is speaking speaking is the basic step of this journey okay friends because if you want to be a fluent english speaker if you want to be a fluent speaker like native speaker speaker then we have then we must have to speak in english because without speaking this journey is nothing we can't do nothing if we want to be a good speaker so we must have to speak in english at least we have to practice one hour of speaking and and in, and this question that people say that people ask from me that ma'am how can i practice english alone because i don't have the environment so i suggest you that uh, and i solving your problem i give a suggestion for you that you can start speaking english by yourself you don't need any person to speak english to start speaking english just stand in front of the mirror or uh, you can also go for a walk and in your ears you can enter the headphone and after this you can speak to yourself from where you can start you can start from your daily routine in your daily routine everything that you done you have to just say it through your mouth okay friends and it helps you a lot in the beginning process 
and slowly slowly when you will get habit of this you can use your friends your parents anyone and slowly slowly you will be able to speak english and uh, i know that in start you will be fumble and stammer you fumble and stammer but it doesn't matter definitely you will make mistakes mistakes but everyone learn from the mistakes everyone in this world who had who have become a fluent speaker and who wants to be a fluent speaker all of them has have to go through this process because without going this process everyone can't be a fluent speaking everyone makes mistakes everyone make uh, everyone fumble and stammering while speaking english but there is one thing that you don't have to do you don't feel hesitation without speaking and speak with a confidence because you want to be a speaker and for this purpose you have to conquer this fear of this hesitation and making mistakes and uh, stammering fumble you have to just ignore it through in from your mind and just keep focus on your goal focus on your speaking english so friends if you want to be a fluent speaker just please follow these four steps in honestly okay friends and uh, after following these steps uh, you can be able to be a fluent speaker and this process is a lo very long journey it's not a journey of 3 or 4 months it's a very long process you need 4 to 5 years to speak a better english so friends i think it's enough for today and uh, i think you will all understand uh, understand that how can you be a english speaker and for this you have what you have to do and friends i think it's enough for today and if you like my video then please comment me and please like share subscribe to my video and thanks for watching and we will meet again in the next video till then tata bye bye